and welcome to this sort of, um, it's almost like a round table without a table yeah. without <laughs> a round. It's Sorry for chat, straight. with the Doctor Who FBC cast. Straight so um, This is the, the discussion for Doctor Who Exodus episode 1, The Man from Another Universe. Yes. I mean, I guess it started with, with you, George, to an extent. Um, yeah. We, we, we started having discussions about um, you playing the Doctor, or a new Doctor, in the fan series. Yeah. And in, I remember in, we discussed in college, two like, episodes were Warriors of Seth yeah, and, and Enmity. Enmity, yeah. Before, yeah, we had at least, I, there were, I don't think initially there were plans for me to be in Legacy. That, that was the contract. No, Legacy was very, um, I mean, we didn't know, because there, there was a version of Warriors of Seth I was trying to work out without um, Calibrax. Mm. <laughs> like, <laughs> Forest like, of Seth changed so much trying to think of the ideas for it. Yeah. Because, I mean, because we had no idea what we were doing at that point. So the tester, I remember, because, you know, we'd had all sorts of problems and I think we weren't sure whether we wanted to come back to to sort of making oh. films, let alone Doctor Who stuff. So suspect was kind of our tester yeah. mm. and I was very much aware yes. that I kind of had to have you two in this film together and if that worked, like suspect if we could all Marshall, worked, yeah. then we could sort of keep going with Doctor Who. We didn't fight too much, so No, we kind of pissed ourselves mostly throughout that thing. We just... It was nice though and it was a nice atmosphere and, and obviously we had Owen as well um, who's Owen. come into it since as well. Indeed. Um, but it was really nice and that was very reassuring to me that Warriors of Seth would work. Yes. Um, and so it was nice to do that. But I knew that I wanted to do a solo adventure mm. with George. Um, I mean, we'd always discussed doing a multi-doctor one and that was kind of yeah, what Warriors but, of Seth uh, yeah, but it, yeah, you, you plan to do that one. We never had plans to do like, I never had plans to do Legacy. We were talking about other stuff. But yeah, but yeah. I mean, Legacy changed so much over the writing of Yeah, because then, like, uh, then, I feel like, I think, I remember very, very vaguely, we said, oh, would you be interested in doing it? I think my part in it was definitely more reduced than what it was. You would have done a day, if that, based on the original script we had. Yeah, on. based you on the original script. Basically, we sent it, I basically, I'd be in there like, hi, and then go away and never and never come back but yeah. then I actually took as things changed I got more and more involved in the legacy and became a bigger part of it we upped your FBC contract yeah, from yeah. two films to three to then you know just everything beyond that yeah. yeah beyond that now now it's kind of like how are you fancy doing George how, yeah. that's what it's now. how long can we keep going <laughs> I mean enmity changed a lot um, yes it did a lot of the basic ideas like that first scene remains Pretty much unchanged. Yeah, well, throughout with, every single with me version. just going out and kind of relaxing. Yeah, and the whole yeah. you being pursued. Um, yeah, if I remember that's that can't, yeah. that didn't change. I a mean, lot. Caleb was originally. I mean, originally it was just the Doctor and Caleb, and Caleb was Caleb was a Time Lord, but it was I, I can't. There was this whole thing of Caleb was essentially the antagonist, and sort of by the end, he helped you. But then Clara showed up at the end. And I think that's yeah. when I realised it wasn't really working as well. And it became essentially it became a full episode because we made a short film, an award-winning short film, right? I okay, yeah. called Arcadian, which was um, you two and Jody. Uh, and at one point, Owen was meant to be in it, and then he forgot to turn up. Yeah, <laughs> that's basically <laughs> the story. That is, that is true. You kind of, I was like, oh, Owen, <laughs> right. But at that point, I knew that we kind of had to do one with Owen and Jody. And I was like, it'd be cool if we could get Jodie into... Enmity. Enmity. However, she had one condition. She had to die at the end of it. No, maybe we did discuss it with Arcadian, because she's I the remember, only character who doesn't die. Yeah, but I remember you saying... Maybe that was it. Yeah, that's why she said, because I don't know this, I want to die in the next one. I think that might have been it. Because I, I definitely knew when I was writing it that she wouldn't be doing it anymore. And so she was always going to die at the end. I mean, it took us a long time to get Enmity off the ground, but... We, we did, and I think Eventually, it yeah, really kind good. Of, and then, yeah, it's a good final product. And I think we were really happy with it, and we were definitely enthusiastic about making more, and I think we were sort of coming up with all sorts of ideas of where we could go next. One of the ideas being Cosmic Comrades yes. by this guy. That's me, not this guy. Oh, that guy. <laughs> me. Well, we were talking about, like, Unit Files continuations, mm. uh, like, Literally unit files, but I, I don't know. We, could, could, we couldn't really 
come up with? I don't know. I mean, we had a lot of issues because I remember we finally were getting something off the ground. Yeah. We realised that we couldn't really tell the story that we wanted to. Yeah. Um, Which was And fun. that was when we kind of went back to Cosmic Comrades. I think it had already been written at that point. Yeah, so Cosmic Comrades was a script I wrote. I don't know why or when or <laughs> where I was. Well, I was in my room, obviously. But, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, it was just a script uh, where Oliver and the Doctor meet. Um, there's Ty Darren's in that. That's where he originated from. Mm. Mm. And he was like an agent of Clarus. Clarus was like vaguely referenced yeah, as a I sort think of boss that's... character. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. I remember we discussed that, and that's kind of what led to Tyderian becoming a member of the Corps oh, Yeah, I'd forgotten about that, actually. But, um, yeah, so Tyderian was sort of like, sort of a minion. He kind of still is in uh, mm. Exodus as well. Yeah, in the broad sense of the time, he's still uh, very much a case of, he's not... But he's main. Yeah, he's not in charge, he takes, or he takes orders and doesn't really give them. Yes. I'm blanking on what his plan was in the finish. It was something well, to do with he knew Foster, so I assume he was yes, human. Yes, yes, um, yes. he was human, half human, half robot, basically. Yeah, but he had like an army. I think that was one of the things that we had an issue with yeah, because really. of the practicality. We had this big spaceship set piece, which we just couldn't do. Yeah, um, yeah I, I think part of me was writing it was sort of a. Um, this might not get filmed, so what wacky thing can I... Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, writing yeah, it yeah. if we could do literally anything. I mean, what's interesting, really, is that episode two, The Silver Devastation, coming soon, or has come out. Depending on when this goes up. Essentially, that story was going to be the first episode, and it was going to open with Oliver being materialised on board the TARDIS. Yes. Very much uh, a case of... And it was going to be like a two-parter thing, mm -hmm. where part one would open with that scene from the Doctor's perspective, and then part two would have a cameo from Foster, and would open from Oliver's perspective. Yeah. I don't remember how Oliver got there, though. <laughs> no, I don't know if we ever... Is really, that, I don't think we ever Is that why you changed that. it? So he... It might have been. I mean, there were a lot of issues with the direction the story took, because that was going to be when we were going to have the Dalek. Mm. You remember the Dalek, Yeah, George. I remember. Anyway, there was this prologue with the Daleks, which was completely detached from the story, so it didn't really need to be there. But then I tried to work it in that the Daleks were going to turn up at the end, which didn't make much sense, and it wasn't really practical. Right, if the BBC now have the right, don't keep using it, they'll lose the rights, so yeah. we, can have, we can own the rights of the Daleks. <laughs> but the, the main villain was going to be the Cyber... It was going to be a Cyberman, because we couldn't have more than one Cyberman logistically. Yes, now I remember They said, George, yeah. do you make a Cyberman costume? I was like, I could try. I would have needed... I'd quite a... like to do the Mondasian Cyberman. I think we could do that with the cloth faces and the... I think we should do our own Cyberman design. Yeah, maybe like a mix between them. I think an amalgam Cyberman could probably mm. work. So it's Cyberman that he's pretty damaged or impaired himself, so he looks cobbled together. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. Future story. Potential. Maybe that Essentially, could... that story didn't work. No, it didn't. Yeah. So... And then it became what we know today. Yeah, then it became the man from another universe. That essentially came about because I realised that we hadn't really done a proper down-to-earth story, Not and that if we were going to reintroduce it all, especially with the unit files element, yeah, we need it to be very grounded into, you know, yeah, we need to, to or at least the first of it needs yeah. to be earthbound and then chuck him into space. Yeah, it needs to be an earthbound story and then we lead into the space one, Yeah, because we can't do historical stories, No, unless someone's noticed that already. Yeah, we can't do that, we can't go to Victorian London, so sad. But yeah, I, I kind of wanted to do sort of lean more into the unit files stuff, and I wanted it to be more Oliver focused because I thought that would be better for an introductory episode. And then sort of as it goes on, the Doctor comes into it more. Yeah. Okay. So in, first we see the Doctor in this. You see him very, very briefly, one mm. for a quick second. Then he runs off. Yeah. Because most Doctor, most Doctor stories, they always chuck him in for the deep end, but. I think it's nice. It's trying to build the human element, basically. Yeah. Should have put um, Oliver's face in the vortex. <laughs> in the opening. <laughs> that really confused people there. It's like... It's a hip. <laughs> yeah. Who's this guy? Should um, have done... Da, 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 da. <laughs> we did discuss, like, how could we do, like, a Doctor Who Unit Files crossover sequence, but it just didn't really work, because they're very yeah. clashing styles. Yeah. Yeah. I learned that first bit on the piano, because <laughs> I was bored. It was interesting. 
writing it, I mean, because we, I mean, there's so many rewrites. The the awkward thing about Exodus has been the number of times we've had to rewrite the scripts, mm. and it just, um, yeah, there's a lot of drafts. Yeah, you, um, yeah I remember um, P said, oh, there's this version, there's this version, there's this version, because whenever you get an idea and it's quite good, it's, it's, the, exe it's, it. it's the execution which is trying to, which yeah, where we yeah. are, always have our gri our main errors when we have when we do a film. Mm. I mean, it's just a number of people I mean, we even, can get, even essentially. We, yeah, even when I think when we did, even when we did the short, some of our short stuff, I think when we did confinement, that went through a few rewrites, from what I remember. Well, like some of the things on the day didn't actually end up working. Yeah, possibly. I mean, Arcadian the script is very, very different to Arcadian. Yeah, there was a whole other character in that, wasn't there? That oh, I mean, there was lots of stuff. Yeah. The, the way I envisioned it, writing it. I I I think um, if you had a your way, you put it. You put, I reckon if you had a your way, you would like longer. I think it works though, because when we were there on the day, I was just you know we were filming it all. I was thinking we don't need any of this extra stuff. We right. just need to make it like this. Yeah. And funnily enough, it turned out quite good. Yeah. So, so we had a lot of rewrites of the script and stuff, which was very, very, very difficult. I mean, there was a point where we just didn't have proper, complete script, like in terms of what we were actually going to be able to do. And I mean, there was so much sort of recasting. Can you do this? No. Nope. Okay. Can you do this? No. Nope. Okay. Can you do this? No. Nope. Nope. Um, but we did end up. We we did end up getting it done. It's very close to what it was originally. Yeah. Yeah. I think the episode it was really stressful at one point because it was just like, yeah. are we ever going to get this done? Yeah. 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 I think um, we always get first. Or my experience, we always say that at some point during when we're filming. Or at least, mm. I very much I think that. I think, oh god, are we ever gonna get this done? I mean, to be fair, episode two, sort of ignoring the the all sorts of shenanigans beforehand, mm. we did get it done in two days. Only and just, I think it but sort of, we did. Yeah, there was a little bit of stress on the second oh, day. We were like, god. oh, oh god, okay, but we managed to get it through. Thank managed you. to get it done. I mean, filming, I don't know how obvious this is to people who don't make short films, it can be a real pain. Yeah. A real pain. Cameras can die on you, locations where one day we film fun, the next day. Act Actors act act can die on you. Uh, uh, Many people yeah. have died during our filmmaking. Oh, God, yes. That's why Adam hasn't showed up for so long. No. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, it's always difficult, sort of. I mean, because we've got to find good stories, but we've also got to balance that with practicality, and I yeah. think it's... It's difficult with what we have um, to really go above and beyond in the ways that I think sometimes we'd like to. Mm. Yeah, we, there's limits. I but, feel, yeah, yeah, because yeah. yeah, that's the thing with our shorts is that you know we normally do them to pace ourselves, so step away from Doctor Who, like confinement especially. Like, confinement was, so was definitely like a two two day shoot. No, it was one day. Oh, one day, yeah. Because we finished early. I remember we finished. Mm. Early. Oh yeah, we did finish early. Finished really early. <laughs> Like, oh, um, I mean, it, it, it's really hard, like, like how 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 we can keep going, because um, we just don't we don't have enough sort of manpower really. Um, we don't have we don't have studios like we can't just build sets, mm. and I think I, it's, think, we, I think if we could, we, it's difficult. Love that. Part of, part of me enjoys that sort of it, you know it's so amateur what we do. Yeah, but it's one endearing. And two, it just makes try as hard as we can to work mm. with what we have, and you know, mm. I like that we can't really take shortcuts in that kind of. No, we're sense. not like Holly. We're not like some big students which can have the amount of technical shortcuts. We do Literally. whatever we can. Exactly, and I think you know it's so rewarding afterwards. And like even if yeah, like, we might look back as like oh, that's a bit crap, but like even, but right, even then, it's like you think about how much we put into that. It's like you know, you know. It, Regardless of how it may have turned out, we still tried our best. It's commendable what we did, and mm, that's. I think it's. Know. I think it's the case with any filmmaker. They always look back and yeah, 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 yeah. It's good, but now I can do better. Yeah, every, we we learn from everything, and you know that's what I love a lot about making our films. So, you know, I, I love learning and trying new things and all that. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. It's, well, it is. It's nice. I mean, I, I think it's a real group effort. Like, none of us could do this on our own. No, and, I de and I've made a short film on my own completely. And I can attest to it's so hard to get it to a decent quality. So it's fantastic being able to work with people. 
Pete. Pete's good. Pete's always good for camera and direction. JJ again, he helped, he contributes writing. I'm also here. <laughs> and also, he also is a good person to act with. Thanks, but Pete's alright to act with him. <laughs> I'm a terrible actor. <laughs> That's not true. I'm all, I'm okay. Passable. You both do good. Yeah, I mean, actually, while we're here, I should probably say, you know, Tom, who does our some of our artwork. JJ does some of our artwork as well. We haven't mentioned that. You, you do some of our artwork, and I don't yeah. feel like we we'll always give you the credit you deserve. Credit. So, but JJ has to like right. Yeah, so right. Again, again, Tom does the good ones, so you know that's why we shout it. <laughs> <laughs> Tom does some really great stuff, and Tom, he also Tom's voices Tom's Clarence. Clarence. Yes, he, I mean the the enmity one. I, I love mean, it. I I loved. I mean, I don't know. I I do love all of them, but the enmity one is my current favourite. Yeah. It just looks. Yeah, it looks just I did not for Exodus or, or oh well, we have the one that you put up on um, the Instagram page. We have that one. Yeah, and then we have the alternate one, which is a sort of a landscape version with you and George, which right. is lovely. Oh, yeah, and we're working on great. designs for Tom's very good. So it's one and two. Yeah. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Thank you Tom. And Clarice as well. We love Clarice. Yeah, I was listening to some of the new Clarice dialogue. It's is so it good. good. Oh, I, I actually good. messaged him to be like, "This is so good." <laughs> it's so good. It's it's. Um, yeah, why is Tom the best actor among us? And he's not even on, he's not basically he's not even there. He doesn't even turn up to set. What's that about? Because he doesn't. Tom, need, stop showing us up. I just love the way. Come on, man. He just has this. I I'm, I don't know what it is. Charisma, maybe it's sort of gravitas or something. Mm -hmm. Like I need to hear these lines. I'm really excited. I think Clarice is basically our best character. He <laughs> is. We're... Second best. Thank you, Pete. Yeah, one of us great. Isn't it? Yeah. No, the doctor's great. <laughs> right, Clarice is the best. We love Tom. Uh, George is great. Yeah. Uh, Daniel is great. JJ's great. Oh, well, thank you. I wasn't going to say that, but thank you. Pete's, Pete's all right. Great. Oh, no, I thought Pete was pretty fantastic. He's oh, all right. Thank you. He's all right. It's, it's nice... Um, to be appreciated. It's nice stepping back from, from playing the Doctor. Yeah, I, nice I imagine yeah. from like, your perspective, it's quite nice to be... Because now, obviously, you probably have my other thoughts, but you're doing a few different when you were acting, but now you're not acting. You can kind of, like, shove some ideas. Like, what's my idea that might work? Just kind of mm, do what you can. It's, it's nice to be able to create a Doctor with you. It feels more like we're creating proper Doctor Who. Yeah, because it's like when I've had to direct myself, it's always a hard thing. It's like, mm. you don't know what to do. Like, yeah, because I get to write the Doctor with you in mind. Because I never knew what I wanted to do And he does do it very it. well. Oh, thank you. I'm very sarcastic in the quite a lot. Yes. And a bit of an arse. Um, I mean, you, you come with your own costume and your own screwdriver and that's really, you know, as a sad Doctor Who fan, that's really cool to see and it's really nice to, to, to be able to make that. But that is really nice having Oliver in there as kind of this everyman companion and he's a nice contrast to Calabrax. Um, yeah, definitely. That's what, you know, Oliver is one of my favourite character anyway. Because technically they're on two different extremes. Calabrax yeah. is this alien foreigner who's gone through some tough times and kind of a bit more extreme, whereas Calabrax, in my opinion, is kind of more with the Every man. Well, they, it's a, it's a case of they've both kind of gone through bad bit. Obviously, one's much worse mm. than the other. But, it, uh, one's, what, one was a world one destruction, his... but they kind of go at it at different ways. And yeah. I love being the more kind of light hearted, you know, yeah. take on the chin. The human. Yeah, the human humour sort of sides, as opposed to the alien. Ah, oh, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of pissed now. Where's my eye gone? <laughs> oh, and it's nice having two eyes again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna take over the universe now. Yeah, sure. I mean it's just lovely to work on these. I, I think I love, it's stressful. Yeah. It's oh, really yeah. stressful. It's stressful, but it's the most stressful hobby you can possibly do. But it's but also one of those things we're gonna look back on. It's just like yeah, I love how we had character development for these characters we were working on for like how. It's stressful, it but it's so satisfying. Yeah, it's gonna be so satisfying. It's in like the future. Yeah, like, I mean watching that full episode today. I don't know what it's like for you guys. Well, no, it's I, no, I like. It. I always look forward to seeing the actual finished production. Mm -hmm. I'm always I bugging you to like show me shit. I'm just like, come on, when's it coming out? I, I feel like I'm, I'm our biggest fan sometimes. I'm just like, I want to know. <laughs> Foster's death is just like, oh man, I can't wait to like for people to see that. I just can't. I'm just so satisfied to see it all done, which is all yeah. Caleb but as well. Caleb, yeah, Owen. That would be quite big, I think. So anyway, thank you for watching. <laughs> um, this Doctor, thank you for supporting us. Yes. Yeah, thank. You. Please continue to support us. Share us with yes. your friends. We need uh, the we need the views. We are desperate. Oh, we've got a Patreon. Make a Patreon for us and support us on Patreon. Yeah. Support Doctor Who by watching the show.
and support us by watching our show. And which is better? I mean, that's no contest, really. Yeah, it's gonna be us. We've got Tom Bowen, so, you know, obviously. <laughs> we've got the man of a... We, we've got the man of the voice. We've got, we got Clarice. We've got Clarice, so. And on that bombshell. <laughs> See you later. Au revoir. Bye. <laughs> hey, can you just basically cut after I've said...